What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today we're doing another unboxing. This time it's going to be on the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack of The Meg. So without further ado, let's take a look at the artwork first or the slipcover. So of course what we have and then we have one of the poster artworks with the, the Megalodon on there. I wish they could, probably could have used a better cover art for the Blu-ray but oh well. Of course you get the cast up there, the Meg, and that's about it for the front. And then of course on the side we have Blu-ray disc, the Meg, and then the Warner Brothers Pictures logo. And then the other side is pretty much the exact same thing. On the back here we have a quote from Tara Hitchcock of CBS TV. Big shark, big action, big fun. So if you guys have not seen the Meg yet, there is a description of basically what the movie is about. So pause and read that if you will. So there you go. I wish they kind of used this cover art for, or this little picture right here for the cover art because this looks a lot better. Anyway though, we're going to take a look at our special features. We only have two on here for some reason. Dive into these special features, creating the beast, and chomp on this, the making of the Meg. And of course we have our little bounty here, digital movie, watch anywhere. And yeah. So now we'll take a look at our specifications here. So 1080p high definition 16 by 9 with an aspect ratio of 240 to 1. And for audio, we do in fact get a Dolby Atmos with a True HD core. So a Dolby Atmos English track there. As well as a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio track. Maybe if you don't have an Atmos receiver or maybe yours is too new and maybe it doesn't play True HD. That's there as well as a descriptive audio 5.1 track and a French 5.1 and Spanish 5.1 Dolby Digital. And for subtitles, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, French and Spanish. So usual stuff for Warner Brothers titles. And this movie is approximately 113 minutes. So just seven minutes shy of two hours. So we'll just leave the slipcover there. Here it is without the slipcover. So pretty much the exact same thing. And here is the back, so not too, too much different with that. So now we will take my knife and we'll just slice it down the side here. So leave a comment down below. What did you guys think of the Meg? Did you see it in theaters this year or did you happen to catch it on home video? Let me know down below. I'll be getting to my review portion right away here. So here it is all unwrapped and everything, so just... Bring it off camera so you can take the coat out, and here it is, it's the usual Warner Brothers pamphlet, and there's the other side, your source for all things Warner Brothers, and basically just talking about Warner Brothers' usual website. So here it is with the two discs, so I'll just take out the Blu-ray right here. This what That's what the Blu-ray looks like. Hi, I'm inside the disc, and it's designed to look like a shark's mouth, or the the Meg's mouth, I guess you could say. I actually kind of like that artwork design, but um, yeah, and it's pretty much the exact same thing with the the DVD as well. So you just have the the uh, the Meg's teeth, I guess you could say. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is about it for my unboxing portion of this video. So now on to what I thought or my review portion. So what I thought of the Meg, I thought it wasn't too bad. Um, obviously it's not amazing or it's definitely not a bad movie by any means maybe I guess you could maybe your definition of so bad it's good is this movie potentially but I like this one it's a guilty pleasure it's good for what it was the acting eh, isn't all that great it's of course it's a giant shark movie the acting I'm not expecting anything for the acting I'm just expecting to see dumb fun about a shark eating people but the special effects, especially on the Meg, I, were really, I was really surprised that they actually did a pretty good job with those special effects. But I, th I thought the movie seemed to go by uh, fast, especially for it being an almost two hour movie about a killer shark. Especially the stuff in China, that was pretty cool. And also, stuff to no or something else to note as well, they actually released a 3D Blu-ray of this as well. I did see it in 3D in theaters, and it wasn't very good of an experience. I mean, the ocean stuff, when it happened, like when they were underwater, and you had the shark coming out, that was pretty cool, but other than that, it wasn't very good. 
there was one part at the end with uh, the shark in China and it was going and eating people and there's this person like in this little like water bubble like you know you know those little bubble things that you walk on and you it looks like you kinda you're kinda walking on the ocean I guess you could say there was one part where the Meg like chomped down on this bubble and then like the little plug goes flying at you I thought that was pretty cool that was very, that was very jump scary in 3D but overall the Meg, it's not too bad of a watch. I'd recommend it if maybe there's nothing else on and or if there's nothing else to watch. It's a pretty good watch. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's stupid. But most of all, it's just a fun action movie. I'd say it's probably a 6 out of 10 for me. So anyway though guys, that is about it for this unboxing of the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack of the Meg. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well. So anyway, though, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.